What's up guys? Uh, so, as you can probably tell from my voice, um, I'm a little sick. I got sick on Tuesday and I was really hoping that I would it would get better quick, but I, I didn't. My immune system hates me. Um, so I didn't get to go enjoy Thanksgiving with my family today, so I'm stuck at home uh, with my own germs. My fiance is like cordoned himself off in the other room. Um, so first of all, I hope you are all having a wonderful Thanksgiving with your families. I hope you're eating lots of turkey and stuffing or dressing wherever you're, whatever part of the country you're from, uh, however you prepare it. Hope you're enjoying lots of that and pies and all the other goodies that come with Thanksgiving. Uh, I hope y'all are just having a really great day. Um, spending some quality time with your family, even if that's in like small doses, because I know some families, you know. Uh, anyway, so because of Thanksgiving, I thought I would do a Thanksgiving tag. Uh, I saw it in a video earlier today, and I figured why not? I might as well join in. Um, so let's get on to the Thanksgiving tag. <clears throat> uh, First off, what is your favorite Thanksgiving side dish? Uh, I think my favorite Thanksgiving side dish is probably my grandmother's dressing. Um, for those of you who don't know, stuffing and dressing are essentially the same thing. Um, it just depends. Stuffing is made in the bird. Dressing is that same stuff made out of the bird. So uh, we make dressing. Uh, in my family. I think I think dressing is more of a southern thing and stuffing is more of like a northern thing. I'm not really sure. Um, but I think my favorite thing is uh, my, the dressing that my grandmother makes because it is so good and I'm so upset that I didn't get to have any of it today uh, because it's like my favorite thing and I look forward to it like once a year <laughs> and I don't even get to have any. I should have made some. We made green bean casserole today which is my second favorite side. Um, but I guess it'll have to suffice for now. Uh, number two, what is your favorite Thanksgiving dessert? Uh, my favorite Thanksgiving dessert is pecan pie. Um, also one that my grandmother makes and it is just so good. It's like so sweet and and pecan-y <laughs> and, and like sugary and oh, it's just so good. I wish I, I, wish I could knew how to make it. Like I, I really, I should try my hand at making pies. I bake everything else, but I never make pies. Um, your ideal Thanksgiving outfit. Uh, anything with an elastic waistband? <laughs> Obviously. Um, to be honest, my ideal Thanksgiving uh, outfit is a onesie. <laughs> <laughs> that I can wear and like not have to worry about um, but really my family kind of likes to dress up not like dressy like fancy dressy but like we kind of dress up and we put on like makeup and do our hair and stuff for Thanksgiving um, even though we're just sitting around the kitchen table uh, eating I, I don't know it's just something we always do so uh, my ideal Thanksgiving outfit is a, a onesie or something with a very stretchy waistband like maternity pants but typically I end up wearing like jeans and like a nice sweater uh, my best Thanksgiving memory uh, well there was that one year when we almost set the kitchen on fire twice <laughs> I don't remember exactly how it happened. It was shortly after we got there. It was at my grandmother's house and like she had put something in the oven and it it like bubbled over. Uh like it was like the dish was too full and it like bubbled over and caught on fire in the oven. And we we took care of it. And then like I guess we must have missed some or something because then like when we got everything back in the oven it like caught again and we were just like oh my god I was like oh god I, I just get here and you guys are trying to burn the kitchen down 
the way to go. <laughs> this is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> Your least favorite Thanksgiving dish. Um, my least favorite Thanksgiving dish? Uh, I, don't know, I don't know if I really have one. Um, I, honestly, pumpkin pie is like you know, horrible as that sounds, like, I ate pumpkin pie one year and I got super sick. And I don't know if it was from the pumpkin pie itself or from something else, but the pumpkin pie was the last thing I remember eating. And since then, out of all the things that have ever made me sick, like, food poisoning wise, pumpkin pie is the only thing that I cannot go back and eat again. I don't know what it is. Um, but I, like, it just, ah, oh, something made me so sick that year, and I, I'm blaming it on the pumpkin pie. So, pumpkin pie's taking all the heat. Sorry, pumpkin pie. You're, you're, like, a, the low man on the totem pole for my Thanksgiving foods. Any quirky traditions? Uh, no, we don't really have any, like, quirky traditions. Um, I mean, we do, like, the typical... Yeah, aside from like we don't really do Thanksgiving dinner we do Thanksgiving lunch uh, we always eat like around one o'clock and then uh, and then like nap <laughs> for the rest of the day <laughs> we're so lazy <laughs> um, so I don't really I don't really know if that's like any sort of quirky tradition or anything uh, we, we don't really have anything we're pretty boring honestly <laughs> Um, where do you do Thanksgiving? Uh, we usually go to my grandmother's house for Thanksgiving. Uh, she lives in Kerrville, which is just about like 30, 45 minutes west of San Antonio. Um, and so we always drive out there and meet at her house and do Thanksgiving there. What's your favorite thing about Thanksgiving? Uh, my favorite thing about Thanksgiving is, uh, well, aside from the food, <laughs> is getting to like spend time with my family because we don't see each other too often because we all kind of live like, we all live in the same state, but we all kind of live like all over the place. Like I'm in Houston, my grandmother's in Kerrville, my uncle's in San Antonio, and my mom's down in Corpus. So like we all kind of, live all over the place and we never really see each other so like getting to see each other at Thanksgiving and Christmas is a lot of fun so I look forward to it every year and I'm really really disappointed that I wasn't able to make it this year um, instead I've been here editing videos all day so at least I've been productive and because I was sick I got an extra day and a half unplanned off of work <laughs> so there's that I guess Let's see, what do you think has changed? I, I don't change from when? Like from the first Thanksgiving? Because a whole lot has changed since the first Thanksgiving. Um, but for me, like, things have changed just over the last couple years anyway. Um, just because of, you know, growing up and I moved out and moved to Houston and everybody's just kind of like doing their own thing. So I don't know, like a whole lot's changed. Um, since the first Thanksgiving, well, where should I start? Because <laughs> there's a whole lot that's been going on since then. What am I most thankful for? Um, I would say I'm most thankful for my health, but I'm sick. <laughs> so probably not that right now. Um, I, I'm most thankful right now uh, that things have really started to go better than they were. Um, this time last year was a really rough time for me. Uh, I had just been laid off like back in September. And so it was just, it was a really uh, hard time. I was it, like deep in my like layoff jobless depression. Um, and it was it just really kind of sucked so I'm I'm thankful that like finally a year later uh, things have kind of turned around and uh, and I'm getting getting back like into like normal life uh, 
so like things are getting back to normal now that I'm back in like a stable job, a job that I really enjoy. So I'm really thankful for having that job. Um, and I'm just, I'm thankful to have like the support of like friends and family that I do. Um, without them, like this YouTube channel wouldn't exist. Like, and you know, it, I wouldn't have made it through my layoff period quite as easily as I did, uh, it probably would have been a lot more difficult without them behind me. Um, so, and I'm also thankful for all of you guys, everybody that watches and likes and comments and has subscribed to my channel. You guys mean the world to me and I appreciate you so much. I am so thankful for you um, because I make all of these videos for you guys. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, I'll be a real boy soon, I promise. Um, but I'm I'm so thankful for you guys for like sticking around and and you know being loyal and like watching and like I said subscribing, liking and commenting. Um, I I make all these videos for you guys and I really enjoy it. And as long as you guys watch, I'm gonna keep making videos. I'll keep making videos even if you guys stop watching, I don't really care. But I mean, I just like, you know, I enjoy like bringing you guys entertainment and making you laugh and like interacting with everyone. So thank you so much for being here. Um, and with that, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, now get off the internet and go spend time with your families. Uh, or if you're familyed out and you're just now getting to the internet, welcome! <laughs> and, uh, and I'll see you next time. Bye! And hopefully I won't sound like this. We'll see. <laughs>